everybody. How you doing? Welcome to Color and Travel, Joanna. I'm Joanna, and we are going to kit up. I'm not going to do the whole kit up because, I mean, really. Um, doing Oh My God Santa because Christmas and hey, George, George, this dog, he hears me breathe, and it's like a thing. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of, hold on, I gotta get the book. I got no book. Here we go. I gotta have the book to have the, the DMC numbers. Okay, so we have seven, <laughs> seven bags. I'm going to probably, um, just put all the spares in here because, quite frankly, I got, oh god, look at all of this. Ah, what a mess. And then, as soon as we're done doing Santa, which I don't think will take that long because it's color block heaven, um, I'm going to go ahead and, I know. Hey, poor little bag. Uh, gonna go ahead and do the uh, seahorse. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Let's get one bag out. I cannot see. I I'm missing my blind girl glasses. Oh my god. Uh, how's everybody doing this week? Are you okay? Are y'all doing a good time? Are y'all recovering from the holiday? I am barely recovering. I, <laughs> it's like, I went to the, uh, and we'll put all those in the spare bag. I went to, hold on. 3348. It's number 33. Oh, did I tell you guys also? I got finally. They took forever. The Brunfunner has made a metallic pencil. We'll go into them after a while, okay? Let me go ahead and get some of this kitted up while I still can. Um, hold on, now she's going to fall. You know, everything in this room loves to just take a nosedive. Anyway, uh, yeah, it took forever because they were out of stock, I guess, or they, they just, I don't know, but people were just reeling about them and I thought oh well I better get some baggies because I got a feeling I got a feeling ooh, ooh, that tonight's gonna be a good night that tonight's gonna be a messy night because I'm not gonna get all these drills kitted up Hang on, let me sharpie. I only have about 89 of those. Put number 33 on it. And stick them in the bag. Because you never know when you're going to run short. Look at all the static. Oh my goodness. Look at all the static, you guys. Um, staticky, staticky. Okay, so Monday started out like a nightmare, of course. And then <laughs> this is gonna take no time at all to kid up because all of these are gonna be spares. 107. Look at all the red sparklies. I mean, that's like a lot of ABs. 
I'm going to have to really make sure my AB pins are up to par. Anyway, um, so yeah. So I had to go to the ER. My head. Oh, God. I thought a bomb was going off. I thought, oh, no. God, am I having another stroke? This is what happens when you have a stroke. You get stroke panics. Like you think, oh, crap. I'm having another one. 107 is one. Yeah, because it, it's like you just want to get ahead of it. Because if you can get to the ER, if you ever feel like you have a really, really bad headache on one side of your head and your hands are tingling, like your hands are falling asleep, just get your partner or spouse or child or anybody really come on people cooperate with the bummer just get anybody you can and get to the er because they can get ahead of a stroke and when you get ahead of a stroke you know you you can you can prevent it from going further but I know that um, for me, I just, I don't care. I'd rather be wrong 35 times at the ER. I've never been judged for going to the ER because I thought maybe I was having a stroke. Never, never. They will not do that to you. They want you alive. So I got there and I was like, God, I felt like I was like asthmatic or something. Like I could not breathe. Oh, here come the three tens. One, two, three of those. Okay. Well, it's Santa. He's, it's it's uh, our favorite elf. He's going to have a lot of black in there. Anyway. I thought, okay, well, um, you know, surely I'll get in. And I barely got in there. I mean, barely got a room and a bed because in all the bays, this hospital has a lot of bays. Um, a bay is... Like when you go to the emergency room and they put you in the in a a hospital room with you know so they can take your vitals and everything, but this poor nurse was like, oh, he was like, girl, I got five ambulances coming in about five minutes, so I need to get you in a bay right away. And I was like, oh, my God, please, please don't put me in the waiting room. If I'm in the waiting room, I'll be out there for hours. And the waiting room, it's not horrible. It's a new hospital, but the doors uh, swing open. And we had all these, it was like Lord of the Flies or something. Like, who let all these damn flies in? They were everywhere. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not waiting in this waiting room. I, mean, I was, like, shaking him off. And John was like, oh, my God. And he was like, and they were big-ass, big-ass flies. I'm not kidding. Okay, number two. This is going to take no time at all. <laughs> but I'm going to be refilling a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Of, because it's such an easy... You know, diamond painting with so few colors. Oh my God. Oh, those are some pretty ABs. Very, very pretty. Uh, anyway, so um, after all of that, the crazy doctor from Dover calls. 
uh, we need you to come to Dover and we need to take a look at your breast. I was like, let me tell you something, lady. I don't care if you threw me $100 on a pole right now. You are not looking at my breast. You are not coming anywhere near my breast. I am on to you, okay? It ain't happening. I'm not going back to Dover and I'm not, I, I know you don't give a shit. I, I, you know, I mean, see, some doctors get so popular. They're like, they don't have more than, you know, three minutes to even talk to you. They expect you to go to cancer school before she wants me to take some kind of medication after being diagnosed negative. That means not cancer. After being diagnosed, she wants me to take this medication, which could possibly, by the way, you know what? I'm not nearly as blonde or stupid as people think I am. Um, I, I kind of like that. That whole, okay, 498 is 13. Um, I kind of like that, that they think I'm just an idiot because, you know, I got on WebMD, I got on YouTube, I got on everybody, everybody. And they were all like, the side effects are, are you ready for this? Murdering your pancreas, killing your kidneys. Your immune system will drop to nothing. I'm like, girl, how are you trying to give me cancer? Is this part of your gig? Are you just trying to make sure that everybody gets sick and gets cancer so you can have a condo and a and a yacht in Miami? Bitch, please. You got the wrong girl. No way. We didn't connect. I don't like her. I don't trust her. And you know what? Trust is so everything when you are, um, when you are, hold on, 700 is 14. Um, when you are trying to, you know, communicate with a doctor and, and, and they have absolutely no time for you. And I, I know people are busy. Look, let me get something straight. Okay. I know that I am not the only patient in the world or the only girl in the world that's ever had a wonky mammogram. But. For her to, to just tell me she doesn't have time for me is just ridiculous. Hold on. I can throw that one away. It only had like three or four. Anyway, um, I just, I lost it. I lost it on her. I was like, don't call me anymore. Because hell will freeze over before you'll get me to go to Dover again. I mean, holy. Oh, I was so pissed. So pissed. You know, I just wasn't going to have it. And I think you need to be able. And then, so today, had to do therapy. But I had therapy on zoom because i had all this bronchial she called me yesterday and she's like hey how you doing i was like oh, i'm dying i'm dying oh man i had this horrible like bronchial ick you know coming up from which i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure was from the um all the smoke in the air and everything lately. It got to me. It got to me. And I told her, I was like, I, I just, 
if this is contagious, I really don't want to breathe it all over you. She said, well, I don't want you to breathe it all over me either. So let's just do um, a Zoom. And we did a Zoom and we had a nice talk and, you know, and she pretty much, you know, championed me and agreed with me and said, listen to me. No one should ever have a doctor that they don't have complete faith and trust in and that they can't communicate with. And I was like, I know. I mean, I'm sure she's not the devil. She's probably a pretty great doctor. But the thing is, I think she got so popular and she got so, so big that, um, you know, now she doesn't have time for anybody else. And I, I need a doctor to tell me what the hell is going on. I don't know anything about cancer. I'm not a. I'm not an oncologist. I, I, you know what? I mean, I know of people who have, you know, suffered and died from. Hold on, return. Did I do this right? Yeah. Okay. I know. <laughs> ah, look at my spare bag. It's it's packing up in here. It's like, what am I doing? Anyway, so 970. This is very really hard to do. Um, bear with me. 32 is already full. So we can put them in the backup bag too. 904. I thought I had 904. Uh, 25. I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't. You know, that's what happens. You think you're right, you're not. But she was so supportive and saying, you know, don't do it. Don't go back there. There's plenty of doctors. Get another doctor. I was like, you bet I am. I am so getting another doctor. I should have used the big square. I have the big square uh, things and they hold more drills. Now I have all these backup bags. But what am I going to do, right? I'm probably going to have this thing done in like a week. I mean, I'm not even. It's so simple. I can't wait. I can't wait. And then I get to do my seahorse. And then we got to do uh, craftably. I may do craftably after this, just for a little break. You know, it's always good to do something, you know, easy and breezy and not so damn cheesy. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we won't. 3865. I've got two bags of those too, and I won't be using both. Uh, but um 39. I can't believe there's only 39 colors in this. This is so easy. I'm like, yay! Anyway, um so I've learned a little lesson and that is to, and, and this is something, I feel like I have to learn this lesson over and over and over and over again in my life. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. You know, and these damn oxygen vampires, you know, these doctors who are just I mean, they just suck the air out of the room. It just... And they're so negative. Well, you really should take this because you could get it again. I was like, I never had it. I never had cancer, you crazy bitch. 
I'm sorry. I shouldn't say bad words about doctors. Like they're above being called an actual B word because they, this one, she, she's not winning any uh, Miss Congeniality contests, if you know what I mean. She's just freaking rude. Freaking rude. Nine. 48, 31. Bear with me. I have to do this out loud. You know, I got the CRS. Can't remember stuff. Uh, so, uh, the diet stalled, the sleep stalled, everything this week just went boom and then last night it was like peace returned i don't know how i don't know why i just know that it did and everything was happy and quiet and peaceful and then about two buildings up <laughs> the uh fire department shows up i guess somebody set off an alarm oh my god i was like no george and vienna go into full who can out bark the other and i was like oh man i don't I can't believe this is happening. But Long Suffering Husband is very happy this week. Even with all the curmudgeon and the 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 craziness and everything going on. Guess what? The Mets are killing it. They have now won. A week ago, we were waiting for them to fire the coach. I'm not kidding. 319 is six. Uh, they were going to do a press conference, and we all pretty much knew they were going to can him because he kept putting these stupid pictures up, you know, who don't even, I mean, they're just a mess. Anyway, so uh, I have had. Oh, excuse me. I have had five nights to basically curl up and watch chick flicks. And oh, did I go in hard. I watched. I watched Runaway Bride with Julia Roberts. Dumbest movie ever, but it's got, you know. Julia's in it. It's cute. So I watched that and then um 890. Hold on one second. 890 is 23. And uh I watched Steel Magnolias. And then I watched Titanic. And I just, I don't know. I was like in some kind of weird chick movie. Um, rabbit hole. <laughs> there was like no getting out of it. All I did was watch chick movies and he watched baseball. I didn't care that much because, you know, I'm not that big a Mets fan, actually. I'm more of a Yankee girl. I am a Yankee. I mean, I don't hate the Mets until they're playing the Yankees. And then things around here can get a little bit. 9-19-27. A little stressful. Because <laughs> we come up with the dumbest stuff to bet on. I mean, you know, who's going to clean the the bathroom and 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 you know 
<laughs> who's going to do this and who's going to do that? I mean, we come up with the dumbest bets. Hell, hey, you guys, in the comments, help me come up with a really cool, treacherous, like, I mean, should I make him, like, eat peaches for a week or something? I don't know. I don't want to... See, I'm not mean at long suffering husband and he's not mean at me so we don't really so 54 19 um we just you know we just try to keep the beds playful but i don't know the mets winning five games and tonight could be number six um, it ain't looking good for my Yankees, people. It ain't looking good. Anyway, other than that, what else did I watch? I just, you know, I just watched, um, really weird, nostalgic. It was just a rom-com of a week. And then um, I got my shirt on. I got all ready to go out. And we just couldn't do it with dogs. They just were freaking out. Um, they were literally crying because there were so many fireworks. So I gave them some doggy drugs. You know, I said, that's it. You guys are getting a cocktail tonight. You know, to calm them down because they, they really, most dog, now it's really weird because I've never had, like I've had three generations of great parents, but I've never had one that was, hold on, 141 is three. Um, I've never, you know, we took our dogs to the fireworks and they would just hang out and watch them and bark at them and everything. You know, but they weren't afraid. They just barked because they were loud. But these two are different. They are very, very different. They do not like. No. They were terrified. So I had to give them happy drugs. Then the next morning, which was this morning, we had to take, or yesterday, it's Friday. I keep forgetting. It's Friday. I don't know what that means anymore. Um, we had to take George. <laughs> this is George. George's third visit to the vet. And we had to take George to the damn vet again. Again. 7.42. That's 7.54. I'm having a dyslexic moment. 18. Um, anyway, I'm not kidding. Third visit. Thank God she's not charging me like every time to bring him in. But, uh, yeah. So this time I gave him two magic doggy pills. He gets in the car. <laughs> He, John was trying to hold him like when he gets up in the back of the car you know there's the trunk it opens the flaps open and then he would get his two front paws up and then um, John would pick up his ass and get him in the car no he was on to that today he saw where he was and he, he jumped all the way into the driver's front seat and he was like, where's the keys? I'm getting the hell out of here. He, it took four people and my husband and the veterinarian to hold that dog down for one minute for one tiny little speck of blood. I mean, they were like, George is really sweet, but he's just kind of protective, which is a uh, vet speak for... This dog's a pain in the ass. And I knew it. I knew it. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I didn't even go because I thought, you know what? If I go 
And she told me, she said, don't come with him because you're his mommy and, you know, he's going to go batshit. Went, okay, when your vet's using words like that shit, nothing good's going to come of that. You know, you know, you're that girl. Yeah, so George, I was like, please. So, <laughs> so we went over to Duncan and we got two dozen of every kind of donut they had. And um, 9, 21, it's 28. Um, we got every kind of donut they had and, uh, you know, I wrote a note on the box. Please forgive me. I'm not a bad dog. I'm just afraid of needles. Love, George. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh my God. The vet tech was laughing her ass. And she was like laughing so hard. It was like one of those, one of those, um, like you don't know what's coming and you just, you're like laughing so hard you're crying. And both of us are just, you know, in the lobby laughing so hard we're crying. You know, after I got him home, of course, I had to because he was just being, but anyway, poor thing. Poor George. And she's like, oh, I I know he's probably a sweetheart. Don't worry. You don't have to you don't have to bribe us with donuts. It's like, no, I was just thanking you for not um kicking us out and making us get another vet. She's the best vet in the world, I'm telling you. I love this lady. Um so anyway. Okay, well, I only have this much left. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a day, 9.45, I love doing them by numbers. I know I'm a paint by number kind of girl. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go because I have yak mouthed my mouth off and it, it just feels so good to just be able to sit up and not hack and cough and ick all over. But, um, but let me try to say it again because there may be some new people here who don't, who haven't heard it, but you're going to hear it from me every single time because I know it's going to get through. You are important to me. So please be important to you. Take care of you. And don't take any crap from creepy doctors. If they give you the GBs, just get the hell out of there. You know, you are paying for it. It's not like they're, it's not like we're a third world country yet. And they're trying to, um, why is there, why is there a dog barking at my house? I don't want to know. I don't want to know can't be good right anyway um i love you shine on and i will see you in my next video because i have some really cool diamond paintings to unbox and show you guys um i i just i'm i'm kind of loading up and i'm still trying to do the d stash I'm almost there. I've got all the photos done. I've got to do the pricing and then we're going to let it rip. So if you want to get uh, any really good de-stashed diamond paintings, most will be Diamond Art Club. Um, you know, put your pennies away. I'm going to, what I'm going to do, what I feel like is only fair is the subscribers are going to get the first um, first hit at any of the D stashes that I do, and then I will wait. I will I will give it a week. Uh, we'll probably start tomorrow morning. I will give it one week, 
let you pick out what you want and then uh, we'll we'll open it to the public so I think that's the best way to do it don't you because you guys are the reason I do this so I want you to feel like you're important you know okay so I'll talk to you soon and uh, shine on See you later. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.